Hello students, I hope you all are doing well. I have come up with another video of questions and answers of Unit 7, Theme Ecology and Development. And the title of the lesson is Foresters Without Diplomas. Let's begin students. Turn to page 66, Ways with Words. A. Match the words with their meanings. A. Constituency matches with number 4. Electoral district. B. Pursue matches with number 3. To follow in an effort to overtake or capture. Here, G number is given. So, G infiltrate matches with number 5. To enter or gain access to. An organization, place, etc. Secretly and gradually. C. Nomadic matches with number 2. Living the life of roaming. D. Anatomy matches with number 6. Art of studying the different parts of any organized body. E. Subversive matches with number 1. Seeking or intended to overthrow an established system or institution. B. Study the following words. Words with prefix mal. Maldevelopment, malpractice, malfunction. Words with prefix un. Unable, unhappy, unfair. Words with prefix pre. Prepared, predetermined, preview. Words with prefix dis. Disloyal, disobey, Dishonest. Words with prefix re. Remix. Repay. Reuse. Words with prefix d. Derail. Depart. Degrade. Words with prefix miss. Misbehave. Misplace. Or misfortune. Words with prefix in. Inactive. Incomplete. Insufficient. Words with prefix ill, illegal, illegible, illiterate. Words with prefix im, impolite, immoral, impartial. Words with prefix er, irregular, irresponsible, irrelevant. Words with prefix none, non-profit. Non-stop nonsense. In the word maldevelopment from the essay, the prefix mal make, makes its meaning negative, which means faulty or imperfect development. C. Make two other words by using each prefix given above and use them in sentences. Malnutrition. The children were suffering from malnutrition. Maladjustment. Due to maladjustment, some students had to leave the hostel. Unseen. These are questions from the unseen passage. Untolerable. The misbehavior of those students was quite intolerable. Preheat. You have to preheat the meat. Premature. He was a premature baby. Disbalance. This will disbalance the environmental ecosystem. Disorganize. He was a very disorganized person. Reunite. They had to reunite in the college for mutual discussions on this subject. Reorganize. The whole program should be reorganized now. Demotivate. His behavior demotivates me to deactivate. Your Facebook account should be deactivated immediately. Mispronounce. You mispronounced this word. Misfortune. She cannot do anything for her misfortune. Inappropriate. This dress is inappropriate for that function. Independent. He became independent in his life at an early age. Illogical. Your answers are very illogical. 
ill-treated. She was ill-treated at her workplace. So, she resigned from her job. Impossible. This task is quite impossible. Impractical. I had never thought that you would act in such an impractical way. Irrational. Sometimes, our feeling is very irrational. Irresistible. Those brand new mobile sets displayed in the shop counter were very irresistible. So I immediately purchased one. Non-political. They had great expectation from that non-political leader. Non-commental. These are non-commental projects. Now we come to the comprehension part. Answer these questions. A. What did Matai decide to do for the community? Answer. Matai decided to create jobs for the poor people who were helping her during her campaign. Those jobs were that of cleaning their constituency, planting trees and shrubs, cleaning homes of the richer people in the communities, and getting paid for the services. B. Mention the problems faced by women in Kenya. Answer. The major problems faced by women in Kenya are problems of firewood, malnutrition, lack of food and adequate water, unemployment, and soil erosion. C. Why did the speaker go to the women to talk about planting trees? Answer. The speaker went to the women to talk about planting trees as she was a woman and was involved in a women's organization and women were the ones most affected by those problems. They were concerned about children and their future. D. What is the most important achievement of the movement described in the text? The most important achievement of the movement was that the women were, were by then independent. They had acquired knowledge, techniques, and had been empowered, and they had been teaching each other. E. Why were the foresters' ways not helpful to the women for planting trees? Answer. Foresters' ways were not helpful to the women for planting trees as they proved to be very complicated. Although they had diplomas, they were not that practical. Their methods of teaching were not that practical. They had complicated ways of dealing with a very simple thing like looking for seeds and planting trees. So, the women found it difficult to follow their instructions. F. When and how did she start the Green Belt Movement? She started the Green Belt Movement on World Environment Day, June 5 of 1977 by planting the first seven trees. G. Why do the donors want to provide money to the women? Answer. The donors wanted to provide money to the women because their efforts were providing results. Due to this campaign, there were 10 million trees surviving. Many had already matured to be used by the women. They had over 1,500 nurseries and 99% were run by women. H. What happened when the speaker criticized the political leadership? When the speaker criticized the political leadership in Kenya for wanting to put up a big building in a Nairobi public park, they started to face problems from the government. First of all, they never received any financial support from the Kenyan government. They had given them an office which they took away as soon as they criticized the government. I mentioned the agencies that supported her movement. Answer. The agencies that supported her movement were United Nations Development Fund for Women, Danish Voluntary Fund, Norwegian Agency for International Development, and African Development Foundation of US. Now students, 
We have come to critical thinking part. There are two questions, A and B. A. Do you think that the title Foresters Without Diplomas is suitable to the essay? How? Answer. Yes, I think the title Foresters Without Diplomas is suitable to the essay as all the women from Wangari Mathai's community in Kenya didn't have diploma certificates. They were not graduates from big, big universities. They were actually simple housemakers, most of them uneducated, but still they were successful of working like professional foresters, bringing up seedlings of trees in their houses and then planting the germinated seedlings on the ground of the forest and take full care of them till they grew into big and strong green trees. They had these hard-working women didn't take the help of anybody to grow trees. Soon, they were able to make Matai's Green Belt campaign successful. So they are really foresters without diplomas. B. Can a person make a difference in a society? Discuss with an example from a person who has made a difference in your society. Students, I have written this answer in my own way. You just take help from my answer. But if you have to write answer to this question, please write your own answer. You can give your own example of the person. So answer to this question will be very individual and very different from person to person. Okay? Yes, a person can make a great difference in society. I have seen many people working for the betterment of our society, but one person who has really impressed and highly inspired me by being an example is Mr. Balan Shah. During elections, my students were highly insistent on voting for Balan. At that time, I did not know this person at all. I asked them, what is the background of this person? They said, he is a rapper. That's all they said. They didn't even say that he was an architectural engineer. So I told them, is being a rapper and popular among you teenagers simply enough to be a mayor of Kathmandu metropolitan city? But still they were persistent. I thought they were crazy. I was highly surprised when Balancha won the elections by majority of votes. I couldn't believe him at all because he was a total stranger to me. I hadn't even heard of, of a single rap song. But today, my way of looking at him is completely different. He speaks very less. I have never heard or seen him making big, big speeches or making false promises to people as other leaders and politicians of Nepal. His action speaks better than his words. In this short span of time, he has brought a huge difference in the city management, road management, crowd management, waste management, education sector, travel and transportation sector, environment cleaning, Bagmati river cleaning, and in the physical appearance of Kathmandu city. What he did, we can see with our own eyes. We can feel it when we move about in the city, when we go to pay taxes in Wara offices. Here in Nepal, people are very good at pulling each other's legs. We don't want to give credit to hard workers or sincere workers. We feel very jealous of them and try by all means to remove them from their position so that it is easy for us to survive by being calm source. But I personally believe and feel that Balin Shah has really done something for Kathmandu Valley which has made our life, we Nepalese people's life, easy. We cannot and we should not deny this truth. Of course, he is young and novice but a very, very promising futuristic leader. So hats off to him and I really have high hopes for him. People like him should be highly appreciated and encouraged in our society. Now comes the writing part. 
in which there is a personal letter. As you know, students, personal letters and business letters are different. Personal letters can be very personal and informal and can be written in informal styles, whereas business letters should be written in a very formal style and its setup should be in American format, which is a universal style. Here, a format of a personal letter is given. Let's follow it as given in your book. A. Study the given letter and underline sender's address, date, greeting, and complimentary close. Students, this is on page 67, mind you. First, at the right-hand corner, you should begin by writing the sender's address. The sender in this letter is Miss Sandra Shaw. But as mentioned in this letter, 27 Barnes Avenue, London, written at the top right-hand corner, is the sender's address. So, Miss Sandra lives in 27 Barnes Avenue, London. And this is followed by the date, March 15, 2020. Then you should write the greeting in the left-hand corner. Dear Mrs. MacDonald, Sandra is writing this letter to Mrs. MacDonald. Then the middle part of the letter is called the body of the letter. Let me read it out. As you know, we have been in the flat now for six months. We like it. But I'm afraid there are a few problems. First, a good deal of the furniture is rather old. The armchairs, for example, are in bad condition and so is the big table where we eat. Could you please replace these items? Secondly, the flat is extremely cold in winter. The central heating doesn't work very well and we have to use electric fires and they are expensive of course part of the problem is the windows they don't fit very well so they let the wind in next paragraph finally there is the kitchen it really does need painting we are quite prepared to do the work ourselves if you pay for the paint can you possibly come and look at the flat yourself? I'm sure you will agree with us. In my case, please let us know about these things as soon as possible. Now, here is the complimentary close. Yours sincerely, Sandra Shaw. This is actually a personal complaint letter. Miss Sandra Shaw is renting Mrs. McDonald's flat and she is sending this complaint letter complaining about a couple of problems that she is facing in that flat. Now there is a question in the next page. B. Suppose you are MacDonald. Write a reply to Sandra Shaw. Students, as this is a personal letter, please follow the same guidelines as in that given in your book. So in your reply letter also, you have to write the sender's address first. That is Miss MacDonald's address on the top, followed by the date in which she wrote the reply. Let's say it is April 06, 2020. Then the letter will begin with the greeting. That is Dear Sandra, Sandra comma, then the body of the letter containing your reply which might be like this. I just received your letter and sorry to know about the problems that you have been facing in the flat. Thank you that you like the flat. Yes, there will be many problems everywhere in our life, but rather than arguing about them, let's focus on the solutions and do something about them. Of course, we can replace the armchair and the big table I was thinking about it too, but it will take about a couple of weeks as Mr. John is out of London. As soon as he comes back, he will see to this problem. As far as the second problem is concerned, the central heating system is very old and will not work. 
We have already tried to repair it, but it was of no use. So it cannot be repaired. You will have to use electricity at your own cost. I hope Joan had mentioned about this during the agreement time also. Yes, I have appointed the carpenter to repair the windows. He will be there by next week. John will visit your place in couple of weeks. Please talk to him about painting the kitchen. We will do this from our side as we have our own painters. I will also remind him about this. I hope you have a nice stay at this place and will not have any problems in future with best regards. This is the complimentary close and you can also write your sincerely Evelyn McDonald's. Always when the person sends you a complaint letter, you should understand that he needs the remedy of the problems. So we should focus on the solutions and come to a constructive conclusion. We should not play a blaming game. It will not help. It will only make the matter worse. Students, uh, writing a formal letter is different I will talk about the formal format of a business letter in our coming chapters. Now let's go to next question C. Write an essay on the community forest in Nepal. Describe how these community forests have contributed to maintain ecology in our environment. The community forest in Nepal has been developed and conserved by the Community Forestry Program in Nepal. This is government's effort to reduce forest degradation and to promote sustainable forestry practices as well as to improve the livelihood of the community. It includes district policies, institutions and practices. The Community Forestry Program, which develops the forests around the community empowers local communities by giving them employment. It also helps in environmental conservation by benefiting the Himalayan forests as well as by utilizing resources in a sufficient manner. The community forestry program had started and also been very fruitful during the late 1970s as it helped in environmental sustainability and in the degrading mountain slopes. The community forests have contributed to maintain ecology in our environment by providing a living habitat to so many wild animals and birds. It has also increased the biodiversity by rejuvenating and expanding the diversity species of trees and plants. It has helped to provide ample amount of rainfall in the country. This water has in turn helped in the survival of so many plants and animals, including human beings. Green forests bring about positive climatic changes, which assists in the survival and development of all living beings on this earth. Thick forests and greenery will lessen many natural calamities such as landslides and floods. It also provides a great variety of resources such as fruits, wood, shelter, in other words, food, fuel and protection to the living beings. Green forests takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen. This helps to control air pollution and also assists in the repair of ozone layer of the earth. Thus, ecology is maintained in the environment. You can just take help from my answer and add up your own details in your answer to this question. Now students, turn to page 70. There are two questions in project work. As they are very important, I have done them also. Project work A. Imagine that you are the chief guest of a program organized by a local government on the occasion of the Environment Day. Write a 10-minute speech and deliver it to the class. Always when you prepare for a speech, 
you have to begin it with an address. Please know beforehand to which special people you have to address. Know the way of addressing each person in a proper manner like Honorable Education Minister, Mr. So-and-so, the most respected principal, sir, Mr. So-and-so, our very respectable ministers, our whole staff members, our dear parents and guardians, dear all who are present here today, and our very, very dear students. In this way, you have to address different people in a different way according to the positions they hold. You also have to address the group of people present in the meeting. If there are small children, you have to address them also. So you have to make a note of addressing these very persons and groups of people present in the program. Then you have to thank them for making you the chief guest of that program. After addressing various persons and a group of people, you can say, I am so pleased to come to the DICE as a chief guest and give a speech today on the occasion of the Environment Day 2080. I take this as a great opportunity for which I am so grateful. Then you can begin your speech. We all human beings share this earth with other living beings. We depend on each other for our survival. We cannot do without one another. We have learned this through environmental education. Among all living things, we human beings are the most knowledgeable, talented and aware lot. We know the importance of conservation of our environment, so I hope each one of us will act responsibly and will do whatever we can from our side. We know that we must avoid unsustainable agriculture, stay away from deforestation and should not burn fossil fuels. Let's reduce, reuse and recycle the available natural resources and landfill space. Let's volunteer for cleaning up campaigns of our community. Let's educate our family, children, neighbors, community and friends about conservation of environment. Let's shop wisely and choose sustainable natural products. Let's plant trees and take care of them until they become tall and strong trees. Our joint effort will definitely save this earth for our future generation and they will do the same for the next coming generation. Then you can conclude your speech. Don't make your speech too long because people nowadays don't want to listen to very long, long speeches. You can conclude like this. Here, I would like to conclude my speech by saying that let's live by being responsible. Thank you. Remember, short and sweet speech is better than long and boring ones. Now the last question, B. Identify a person from your community who has worked on environment protection. Write a story of that person incorporating the effects she made to change things and attitudes of people. For this, I have chosen Miss Sanjeevani Yonjan Sresta. I'm just giving you an example, students. You can choose the person of your choice in your answer. Miss Sanjeevani Yonjan Sresta is a well-known environmentalist and director at Wildlife Conservation Nepal. Her career spans a little over 20 years as a conservationist, educator, writer, and a humanitarian responder. She holds a master's degree in environmental science from Tribune University and is pursuing a degree in pedagogy. Ms. Yonchun is especially committed to engaging communities and people from all walks of life 
in nature conservation and to transform the way environmental education is taught in Nepal. She has co-written more than 20 different books for children and teachers, several lesson plans and curricula on environment. She is a U.S. Embassy's IVLP, International Visitor Leadership Program Fellow, and currently she is leading the Green School Movement with her team. She is a recipient of Excellence in Environmental Protection Alumni Award Xavier Academy 2018 and WWF Conservation Award Nepal 2021. A passionate advocate of circular economy, she is also involved in developing community-based innovative solutions to mitigate the repercussions of climate change and create viable local business solutions to tackle such issues with her team and different partners. In the past few years, Ms. Yeonjun has developed and implemented educational and advocacy programs and projects on wildlife conservation, waste management, climate change, and natural resource management in coordination with different stakeholders and different levels of government of Nepal. As you can see, the person you choose should be involved in environment conservation of Nepal. You can search for these people online or take help from other resources as well. Okay, this is all for today's students. Thank you and see you in our next class. Bye-bye.